Hello everyone, my name is Yuri and I have been a practicing inpatient nurse for almost seven years, primarily working within the medical, surgical, and oncology nursing units. This learning module will specifically focus on evidence-based interventions nurses can implement to minimize discomfort associated with palliative care related issues in the hospitalized patient. The learning objectives of this presentation are to define and understand palliative care, identify and describe at least two nursing strategies or interventions to promote comfort in patients with palliative care needs. So overall, the intended goal for you guys as new graduate nurses is that by the end of this course, you will feel more prepared in understanding palliative care medicine and we'll be able to identify and describe at least two nursing strategies to promote comfort in patients who need palliative care. The World Health Organization states that palliative care is an approach that improves the quality of life of patients who are facing issues, problems associated with their life-threatening health condition. The goal and recommendations for palliative care is to prevent or minimize suffering through early identification, correct assessment and treatment of physical, psychosocial, and spiritual symptoms. Addressing suffering involves effective communication from the nurse that is supportive to the patient's individualized needs. There are approximately 133 million Americans who are living with a chronically serious medical illness, and most of those patients require palliative care. It's important for you guys to understand that palliative care is not limited to only a hospice type environment. It includes various medical settings like long-term care and inpatient facilities. Palliative care is part of nursing education. However, recent research indicates that new graduates feel underprepared to confidently care for patients with a life-threatening illness. So this particular study uh, focused on the perceptions of new graduate nurses, reporting feeling distressed and lacking the readiness when they were assigned to a patient with palliative care needs. Some considerations in providing care to a palliative care patient. So assess, assess, assess. I can't stress that enough. Perform a detailed head to toe assessment on your patient. Remember to communicate. Not all patients will have objective measurable symptoms. Identify if the specified treatments are um, already in place for a patient who comes in with palliative care needs. So were they on a pain management plan before being admitted to the hospital? Provide treatment based on the classification and always in consultation with the provider and within your scope of nursing practice. For instance, if the patient is having difficulty breathing, it's important for you as a nurse to consider possible underlying causes such as could it be pneumonia or is it part of a diagnosed disease process like heart failure or cancer? Then consider managing the symptoms, again, based on in consultation with the provider and um, manage the symptoms based on the cause. So it, would um, bronchodilators help with the breathing, supplemental oxygen, maybe they're having anxiety, maybe they need anxiolytics, to manage their difficulty breathing. Some common needs of palliative care patients. Um, before I go over this, it's important to note that these needs on this slide will vary from patient to patient, and it isn't only limited to the below symptoms. Physiological needs of a palliative care patient can include, as I mentioned earlier, respiratory issues, shortness of breath, maybe they're wheezing, um, pain, acute 
or chronic pain, it's important to understand what type of pain they have. Are they having gastrointestinal issues? Are they nauseous? Have they been vomiting? Lack appetite? Some psychosocial issues to consider. Uh, emotional support. Is there a family member there, a care, um, care giver there? Are they experiencing uh, depression, anxiety, fear, sadness? It's also important to explore cultural and spiritual considerations. Is there a cultural um, norm that they follow when someone is sick? Do they need a chaplain? Do they want someone, a member of the clergy, or do they have a religious faith that they'd like to implement during their palliative care treatment? So what can nurses do to promote comfort? Manage both physical and non-physical symptoms based on evidence-informed nursing recommendations by the World Health Organization. So again, after assessment, treat the patient as needed per the physician orders. If no prescribed interventions are available and you see that the patient is suffering or in distress, consult the provider, call the doctor. Consider non-pharmacological interventions to minimize or prevent distressing symptoms. So for instance, if you see that the patient um, is having trouble breathing and is very weak, position them uh, upright for maximal breathing. If they're in pain and you've given everything you could for uh, medications, provide, offer a heat or ice pack for their pain. Communicate. Communicate, communicate. Uh, it's important to be available to the patient uh, who needs palliative care and their family. Develop and discuss an individualized plan that is supportive of that palliative, patient, um, palliative, excuse me, palliative care patient's needs. Be available, be present, check in, and provide essential daily measures. Maintain the patient's dignity always Provide and assist the patient with daily hygiene assistance if needed. Do they need oral care? Do they need assistance with bathing? All right, in summary, so what is palliative care? Palliative care helps relieve physical, psychosocial, and spiritual suffering. Not only that, but it also benefits health systems by reducing unnecessary hospital admissions and it can be provided by many types of health professionals, including volunteers. Um, and I mentioned this earlier, it can be given in homes, health centers, and hospitals, not just hospice centers. And really it focuses on improving the patient's quality of life. Okay guys, it's game time. Let's test your knowledge. Click on the link here to play. Um, if you're not familiar with Kahoot, um, you just, just click on this link here and then it'll kind of just guide you on where to do. You don't need the app. You can just go to um, your Safari, kahoot.it, and then the assigned game pin to start. Thank you all for your time. This concludes this learning module.